हे गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रिग्रेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो हियर वी विल टॉक अबाउट टू कैरेक्टर्स और यू कैन से टू वेरिएबल्स नाउ इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएबल्स इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड dependent variable so look at this picture here we have three plants plant 1 plant 2 and plant 3 so we are watering them now in the first plant we are applying moderate amount of water and in the second plant we are applying large amount of water and in the third plant we are applying very less amount of water now we want to determine its effect on these three plants so when we are applying moderate amount of water the plant grows well now when we are applying large amount of water the plant dies and when we are applying little amount of water the plant survives uh but uh, does not grow well so what we can conclude here so actually amount of water is the cause which is called independent variable and independent variable is the variable that is changed and uh, size of plant number of leaves or its survival are dependent variables which are dependent on the amount of water therefore dependent variable is the effect its value depends on changes in the independent variable now let's define regression so regression is used to determine a relationship between an independent variable and a dependent variable hence regression helps us to predict the effects of independent variable on dependent one effects of independent variable on dependent one so types of regression model there are three types of regression models such as linear regression model multiple regression model and nonlinear regression model linear regression model this model relates two variables with a straight line let's see an example the sales of a company for years can be described using linear regression model so sales is the dependent variable and time that is years is the independent variable so if you observe these values carefully you can find these values in the y column are all in power 1 what does that mean so in this particular example this y column is 2x that means just twice the value of x like 1 2x means 2 x is 2 here so 2x means 4 x is 3 here so 2x means 6 x is 4 here so 2x means 8 x is 5 here so 2x means 10 so it could be 2x it could be 3x 1x 5x 10x Point five x, etc. But all are in 
power 1, right? So if we plot them in a graph, you will get a straight line from that, like that. So in the x axis, we have put ER and in the y axis, we have put cells. So you will get the straight line here. Next is multiple regression model. So a multiple regression model is used when there is more than one independent variable affecting a dependent variable. However, multiple regression model is also a linear regression model. Example, chances of a good agricultural yield which is a dependent variable is dependent on many independent variables such as rainfall, soil quality, application of fertilizers, etc. Let's talk about nonlinear regression model. This model relates two variables in a nonlinear or curved relationship. Example, relationship between time and bacterial growth. So time and bacterial growth can be described using nonlinear regression model. So time is the independent variable and bacterial growth is the dependent variable. So if you observe these values carefully, you can find these values in the Y column are all in power 2. What does that mean? So in this particular example, this Y column is X square. Like X is 1, so X square is 1, X is 2, X square is 4, X is 3, x square is 9, x is 4, x square is 16, x is 5, x square is 25. So it could be x square, it could be x cube, it could be x to the power 5, x to the power 10, x to the power 0.2, x to the power minus 2, etc. That means anything other than power 1, right? anything other than power 1. So if we plot them in a graph, you will not get a straight line. Instead, we will get a curved line like that. So in x axis, we have put time and in y-axis we have put bacterial growth.